Hi, my name is Michael Trout, and I am the CEO Chairman of FoundUps. We are an open corp, which means we're a corporation anyone can be part of. We also are behind the open startup. And I'm doing this talk here actually to folks who've been following me and are interested in what we're doing because here's some very interesting information. And here shows kind of the, the market scope, the cap of what, what we're playing in and where we're, where we're headed. And ultimately, what's very interesting here is this $6.2 billion. And I think this is a low ball. I think, and, I, and our goal is to do an IPO by 2015. Um, and I think that, you know, in any, many respects, this will be 10 to 20 billion. Um, some of the um, sites out there, the crowdfunding sites, and all of these are based on the Kiva model. They're not based on professional fundraising model, which we are. And I'll talk about that. But a lot of this information is wrong and it's misleading. For example, Kickstarter is a gatekeeper. It's closed. Not anyone could be part of it, right? So unless you get an invite, and I've tried many times to launch a campaign because I've been curious on how well their community, and they've been denied and denied and denied. And I actually pointed out fraud. There's significant fraud on Kickstarter, and the most recent one is the uh, Occupy um, Wall Street, where people invested 75000 and never got their paper, which they pro were promised, okay? And there's no way for you to contact the people launching the campaign, right? It is, uh, it's, it's, it's just ripe with fraud. I would not put any money in Kickstarter. And I'll, and there's other issues too. Um, Indiegogo, this 4% is a lie. It's actually 11%. 95% of their projects um, uh, probably don't get funded. I'd love for them to come up and be honest with it. Um, none of these, none of these will. And they earn basically 11% off of projects that aren't meet their goal. They want to they don't want you to meet your goal. They make more money if you don't meet your goal. That's Indiegogo for you. And ProFounder again, a closed gatekeeper network um, uh, that uh, you know and, and I've been in I actually have looked at their platform, I've been on their platform, but then when I try to do a campaign, they denied me because of a video I did which was negatory negative on them, right? Uh, that was their excuse. So, um, w an exciting story is actually this uh, want to buy, you know, uh, buyabeercompany.com that actually raised, and this is a lie, this is wrong, okay, 200 million. They actually raised 280 million, okay. They were only just 20 million from their goal. Um, and this is the potential. This is very exciting. And I, you know, and it, I would recommend you listen to this gentleman talk um, at the hearing, um, uh, Michael. Um, and, uh, you know, he, he, he makes some very good points, and I 100% believe in him. Um, here's some of the pros and cons, and actually there's a new crowdfunding bill, which I strongly support, um, and it's not up to 100000 It's actually hundred up, well, up to 100000 based on 10% or, or based on 10% of income, okay? I, it, I don't read the bill as a 10000 cap. I re mean it as a 10% cap okay so um, but maybe I have to read that again right and um, and it's not up to five million this is wrong it's actually uh, it was amended to two million if you have an audit and one million if you don't so um, you know it's uh, very interesting so and you know these are some of the pros and cons you know to look at now how are we going to raise funds well we're actually going to raise funds based on the National Community Development Services um, methodology. It's changed to adopt it to crowdfunding, but basically um, uh, built on what they're doing. And ultimately, what we, we want to do is launch um, successful campaigns that only have less than a, a, th a 3 to 5% failure rate. How do we do this? Well, we do a feasibility for our open startups. Secondly, we do what they call a max fund. Ours is called the SIC, the Strategic Initiative Capital Campaign. And um, we will be doing and using social media sites in a very interesting way based on their on their platform. And finally, we want to tie in research, okay? Research, why you should. And not only that, remember, FoundUps is the organization behind the open startup. So we are doing the due diligence on our open startups. So we will ensure that your investment actually is used the way that the founder and the team says it's going to be used.